Good morning, everybody. How you doing? It's your buddy, Paul. I just wanted to say hello uh, and share with you something that um, I've been working through this morning, which is loving what is. So I, I was working out and I got a call and the news on the call was not news that I wanted to hear. My initial reaction was defensive and frustrated. And then I hung up and I was working out and I was like, wait a minute. Like, I, don't, I can rise above this already automatic reaction of survival and fear and I can create something better. Create something, um, uh, create something out of the potential breakdown. Uh, and so I got to a place of total peace and loving what is, which I recommend this uh, incredible, Byron Katie has a book called Loving What Is, and she has a website called Do The Work, or it's just called The Work, uh, and it's uh, really powerful, so check it out. But for those of you just joining, I was sharing earlier, or just now, uh, about a call I got this morning that was incredibly frustrating, and my initial reaction was defense, and then I came to peace with it. And then I kept working out and the call rang again and the whole scenario switched the other way. So had I stayed in my funk, who knows if maybe that call wouldn't have even come. So I, I was able to love what is and the what is shifted to something that I could love even more because it's actually what I wanted. So uh, just a little reminder to um, when life throws at you a challenge today, instead of pay attention to reaction to it and instead of reacting a way that you maybe always have in the past take a minute and be like do I really know for sure that this might be the best thing for me because I how I got to being and making peace with that scenario was I was like well if that happens then maybe that door is going to open and I'm going to go into that door because that other door closed um, and I was able to find a power, a place of power rather than a victim place. Um, because when you're in victim space, there's absolutely no way to create anything but more victim and just um, really a lot of misery and suffering for yourself. So uh, that was my morning. I just wanted to share that little tidbit to loving what is. So that's my challenge for you today is if when something happens that doesn't go your way, by the way, I'm not driving, I'm being driven. If something happens that doesn't go your way today, shift it and, and not just accept it, but love it. Be like, oh, this is a gift rather than this is a curse. And it moves you out of the victim into a place of creation and into power. So that's it. Just a little fun t tidbit. If something happens to you today, instead of reacting the way you normally do, take a minute and go, how do I know that this isn't a gift? You know, even if it's the worst thing, it could be the best thing. If you look back on it a year from now, whether it's someone breaking up with you or a job ending or health news even, that might sound devastating. It could turn your whole journey into a new healing path uh, and your body, you know, dis-ease in the body. It's just your body saying, pay attention here, right? So uh, let's just really be in, instead of being in reactive, space today and victim let's be in the power and creation today there's a technique it's called priming that is a way to start your morning with um, that Tony Robbins does if you just google priming or I can try to put a link under this video it's a way for you to create your day with visualization and with gratitude so gratitude is the quickest way to shift from that victim place into a place of power and creation because um, if you're grateful it's impossible to be frustrated and if you're grateful it's impossible to be destructively angry so anyway that's my clean shaven message for you guys have a beautiful day all right you are magic and you're not a victim bye